what is going on guys and welcome to html and brackets tutorial in this video we're going to talk about how to add images to our web page because let's face it a web page without an image or images for this matter would actually suck so the first thing what we need to do is actually to get an image so over here i'm just going to expand this live preview and i'm going to open the new a tab and over here i'm going to create i'm going to find in google a image so let's say funny images or pictures funny pictures right over here and i'm just going to click on images over here and now i have these options right so we can have mr bean or we can have a baby or let's do kevin hart over here so what i would need to do is right click it over here and then i have over here same image as right so I click it over here and then it tells me the options where I can save and it should be the same and it is the same for the and it is the same for the Mac or the PC. The difference is that and it's going to be the same for the Mac and PC. So what we need to do right now do is we need to actually select our folder that we created HTML. You can see over here that I have my index file and save this image there. So I'm going to call it, I don't know, funny, right? Funny. And I'm going to save it over here. And now you can see that I have saved my image. So let's go back. I'm going to minimize this and I can close this out for now. So let's open up again our toggle menu and you'll see what happens. So let's open up our toggle menu and let's see what happens. And now you can see that right now I copied this image and I named it funny and I have it actually in my folder. And that's a nice thing about brackets It's right away you can see that it shows you the preview of what, what is the picture and it actually tells you the size. You see this 225 and 225. So let's jump back to index and now let's add this image to our actual file. And if we want to add an image in HTML, we would need to create a image element and we would write to have tags. So I'm going to write image over here and I'm going to press enter. And the difference between an image and let's say a heading tag would be that image doesn't have a closing and opening tag. However, what image does is image tag has an attribute and attributes are basically a explanations about the tags so in this case the explanation would be a source and what it explains to the browser it tells hey listen yes i want to add an image but i'm actually telling where that image is located and you can see over here what brackets does the nice thing about brackets is right away it tells you what kind of file you would want to add now because this is an image obviously we want to add this funny jpeg but however if we would have let's say 10 images it would also display them all. So we don't want to add this index for now, but let's say further as you're learning, let's say CSS, you would know that if you want to add, let's say a CSS file, you would be able to also do that. So we just click over here, funny JPEG. And now we have a, and now we, you can see that we have our image to our page right here. You can see Kevin Hart is staring at us. And again, the syntax would be that we would have to write a tags and inside the tags, we would write image over here. And then we would need to include the attribute source and the source would have to, and the source is basically telling us where is a, and the source, and the source is telling us where that image is located. Now, another thing about the brackets you can see over here. And it's actually as you have typed in, in now another nice thing about brackets is that as you can see over here it actually gives you a quick preview of what that image looks like i mean it's not a big deal but it does help you if you're working with large files right so congratulations we actually have our first image now i want to show you another thing how we can actually add images externally so let's say I wouldn't save this image. I don't want this to be, let's say, 
uh, sitting in my computer. I, I don't want it here. I actually just want to create an image from, from the web, right? So what we would need to do over here is I'm just going to delete this. So the source would be empty. And let's go back over here. And now we have Google. So again, let's let's look for the images and I'm going to I'm going to write funny pictures. And I'm going to say images. And the difference is over here, let's say again, I'm going to pick, I don't know, what would be the funny one? I don't know. And let's say if I choose this And let's say if I choose this one, this picture over here, right? So I just right click, right click it. But the difference is I don't want to use the save image as. I actually want to use, what I want to do is I want to copy images address. So let's just click this over here. And again, we can just close this one out. Now we for sure don't need it. And we go back to image source. And what we would need to do is in this attribute source, we would have to actually paste this address over here. So I'll paste this, and you can see that I have the, the image that I, that I wanted. So this is your other option. If you don't want to save this file over here on your computer, you can actually just copy and paste the address where the image is located, and you can get the image that way too. However, there's one problem with this, that when you're usually what happens is with these image addresses they're very very long so what's going to happen is if you're copying this image address like this it's going to sometimes it can take up the whole page over here right your whole html well not the whole page you can still scroll it down but it's going to take up a lot of space but if you're taking let's say you whenever you're going to be going back to the images that you're saved the the length of this the source is going to be only the whatever you written down here. So let's say in this case it would be I don't know like a But the problem with this image, but the problem of copying and pasting the address of the image is that sometimes those addresses are very, very long. So you don't want, sometimes it's much more easier if you just have the file over here and it's always the length of this source is always going to be JPEG because you can see already right away this source was longer because the actual address. And again, another nice thing is that brackets gives you a preview so you can see that when your boss asks you how you're doing halfway through your shift right and again we can just make it a little bit bigger so we can see how our web page would look this is going to be it for this video guys thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video